No big whoop. Boss, if you need supplies, let us know. Ha! -ha! Good soldiers always prepared for anything. Keep that in mind. This is going to be a cutscene. Normally that doesn't happen. Weather surveillance indicates turbulence out there. Try not to get knocked out of the sky. Got it. Oh hey, what's up? Quiet. Where does she think she's going? You wanna head out with the boss? That'll be the day. I don't see a problem with it, so long as she's with you. She's a crack shot, a damn fine scout. Well suited for a clandestine op. Which is more than I can say for the others. There's nothing damn fine about this. Thing. Well, you don't have to be a dick about it. Here. Hey. Blades. Wait a minute. That thing costs a lot of money. I can do that too, I just don't want to. What if that's actually possible? The bullets move fast enough to do that. Each individual blade and a depth perception. One in. This is ridiculous. She doesn't talk. How could you possibly stay in communication? Right. I like working solo anyway. Oh, we hurt her hurt her feelings. Sucks. I kind of wanted to take her out with me. Having an extra sniper would be nice. Looks like you've gotten used to working with quiet. I did. I don't see a problem with giving her some new weapons. I've already talked it over with the R and D team. I haven't even done anything with her yet. How am I already? Never mind. Doesn't matter. Unit function added. Being a scout sniper, there are two tasks you can give quiet. The first is to infiltrate an outpost ahead of you and scout out the enemy's positions. The second is to send her to a sniping position and have her cover your infiltration. The kind of sniper support she'll provide will depend on the weapon you give her. Of course, this is all assuming she's willing to follow orders. Quiet is still in her cell. Only a few staff are authorized to go near her. She hasn't tried anything funny, but that's what bothers me most. In particular, what does she have to gain by coming to Mother Base? Please I first thought she was under orders from Cypher to take you out. She didn't manage it in Afghanistan, so round two happens here. So I lighten the guard, and that lock on her door is a joke. You gave her an opening, and, well, she hasn't killed you yet. And I hate to say it, but she's had plenty of chances. You made me the bait. 
poisonous bait. What better? Anyway, she didn't bite. Quiet is keeping her silence. So I'm left with no idea again what she's doing here. We tried communicating with her through writing. That didn't work either. Whether she's illiterate, dyslexic, won't cooperate. I just don't get it. If she tried to contact the outside, it'd be picked up by our counterintelligence net. But it's clean. There's no sign she's had contact with the staff, the base facilities, nothing. She's almost got the men wanting her to try something, just to find out what she's up to. And she's in there putting on the failed soldier look, all downcast eyes and defeated sighs. But she doesn't kill herself. She can't be trying to leave Cypher and surrender to us. <laughs> So what's the verdict? This may sound optimistic, but here's how I see it. Quiet came here to fulfill some objective. To kill you, maybe to destroy Diamond Dogs. Whatever it was, before she could do it, something changed her mind. Yes. When I look at her, I sense hesitation. You think she betrayed Cypher? Can't say for sure. I prefer the ones that talk. Anyway, we'll keep her under watch. And we're also looking into those special abilities of hers. You'll be the first to know if something comes up. Why not look in on her yourself once in a while? Right. All right, let's do another mission, shall we? Please select a mission. Boss, about those Walker gears deployed by the CFA. It appears that it's not just the CFA. PFs all along the Angola Zaire border are also getting equipped with them. The bipedal technology was developed by the Soviets, but Cypher is the one supplying it to the PFs. The question is why? What's in it for them? The answer may lie in the compensation being traded to Cypher by the PFs. Many outfits operating in Africa get locally mined resources as spoils of war. Diamonds, nuggets of gold, and rare metals. According to the intel team, there's a PF convoy that regularly transports the goods. Escorted by armored vehicles, no less. Pretty heavy security for crossing the remote Angolan savanna. I can't imagine Cypher would be so interested in minerals alone. Those convoys have to be transporting something else. Something that holds the key to Cypher's plans. Boss, I want you to extract the truck, cargo and all, from the PF convoy. Let's find out what Cypher's real goals are. Kinda wanna do a side opera too to get more people. Please select a land heading to Afghanistan. Because um having the ability to Fulton out vehicles and containers and whatnot is very handy. Especially if I can like manage to sneak up behind a vehicle. Um, like if I can find a way to just stop a vehicle for a second or two, like with a distraction, I can kind of come up behind it and Fulton it out. And what's nice about it is it will also Fulton out the people inside of it. So if there's two dudes in the truck, they'll go back to another base as well. Um, you can, I believe you can blow them up as well in that mission, but it's a little harder, I think. Because a lot of times you can blow up like one vehicle and then like the other two or however many are in that little convoy will run off and you have to kind of chase after them and shit and it's, honestly it's more trouble than it's worth most of the time. It's usually easier to just fulton them out. It's the kind of thing where it might be nice to have um, D horse because I don't know if I have him at the right bond level or not, but at some point you can uh, basically command him to take a crap wherever you want to. And if vehicles drive over that, they'll spin out out of control and you can run up to them and fault them out before they realize what's going on. But again, that relies on me being able to fault them out in the first place. If I can't do that, then there's no point. I mean. I don't know, there is and there isn't. I can, you know, I can stop the, the vehicle, get rid of the dudes in it. 
and then just drive the vehicle away or, you know, whatever. Okay, so we want to go this way. Can I... Can I do anything with her yet? Okay. Please select a deployment point. So at this point, I'll be upfront and mention that I've already uh, beaten the game once. Um, I had enough footage saved up to where I could head and enjoy the game a little bit more and kind of play more of it, get used to it, and whatnot. So I can kind of. Oh wait, that guy got something good. Um, so I know a little better what I can do with buddies and whatnot. One of the things I didn't really realize until it was not too late, but way later in the game, is what I just did. You can tell uh, Quiet to scout ahead and she'll go to the base, wander around and mark stuff for you. I don't know how well it works with her bond level being low, but we'll see. She doesn't mark everything, but she does a really good job of marking stuff, and it looks like maybe her bond level's not high enough for her to really mark anything. The map has been updated. Which is a bit of a bummer, because I waited for her to do that, and now that I've waited, there's a sandstorm coming. And... Oh boy, who's looking at me? Analysis. Oh, that asshole. Okay, at least he didn't see me. Alright, well... While that sandstorm is up, I can capture this dude. Then I can kind of... move him out of the way. Wait for the sandstorm to clear, and then fold him out. I think I'm gonna try for this guy too while I have time. It's not necessary to do both of them, but why not? Intel, uh, ex getting intel from that dude helped out. Now I know where the prisoner is that I have to extract. Oh, this guy's waking up. So we'll get over here real quick and put him back to sleep. Yeah. Have a nice flight, you son of a bitch. One thing I've kind of learned about taking quiet with you is she can, as you can see, she can mark people, but the second she focuses focuses on someone else, the marking of that person right there will go away. So you kind of have to... She's not quite as good as D-Dog in that regard, but... Once you develop a sniper violence, she is so much better than Dee Dee. Analysis complete. Alright, so there's still at least four guys I can't see. Right now she's still very useful, but the problem is the, the, the second she fires, they'll kind of focus on her for a little bit, which, you know, in some ways can be good, obviously, because she keeps attention off of you for a little bit, but...
Really? That dude saw me long enough to want to check out all the way over here? Alright, so that guy's talking to somebody, so someone's got to be there for him to talk to. That'll help. Um, I think I did the uh, mission to get rid of helmets. So if it comes down to it, I can shoot this dude in the head. But it looks like it's not coming to that because he doesn't seem to be walking all the way out here. See if I can get to this guy without using a bullet. God damn it. I really didn't want her to do that. Analysis complete. Bright side. She distracted them long enough. That could have gone real bad. Come on, pick up that guy. doing that so she'll distract them a little bit so I can run away. I like how that guy just doesn't seem to give a shit. But it doesn't matter because I got who I needed. She kind of screwed me over a little bit, but at the same time, she helped me get out of the jam she helped create, so it worked out in my favor. I could have gotten better, but what are you going to do? Oh, they're driving away. Let's see if there's anything else nearby we can do. Tank crew, which I can do. But it's not going to be easy, so I'd rather not. So let's go to the ACC and... There's another uh, mission I can do real quick. Side ops list updated. So let's see, it was mine clearing I wanted to do. I kind of want to get that at some point, but that can wait. Um, hmm. Please select a landing zone. It's kind of hoping I can land closer to the uh, guy I'm trying to get rid of, but I can go to that landing point I hit, and then on the way to where I want to go, I can get the uh, mine clearing mission done. Two birds, one stone. I just wish there was a way, at least for like side ops and such, that you could just skip this whole helicopter right in and just get to the landing zone and hop out because it seems like a waste of time to sit here for a minute and wait for the helicopter to find the landing point. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not really a big deal, but it's just kind of a minor annoyance really. The only good side about that is that it gives me a chance to reload my guns. No, I don't want the damn machine gun one out. Be careful down there, boss. 
I like that I couldn't grab that plant I was right next to until I turned and looked at it. Alright, I'm gonna try getting her to scout out the area over here, which she can't do. Never mind. Please select a deployment point. Marker placed. Oh, I hear a vehicle. And it's going the way I'm going. Great. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. It's not really a big deal, since I don't think like they'll really be a problem. But the fact that they're going to be coming this way. Where are they? I can't really tell. Nope, they're driving away. Alright, never mind. I was about to say it's going to be annoying to try to go around them, but I don't have to. So I can't remember if I mentioned this one time in the past or not, but um... I should have brought D-Dog with me on this one, damn it, now that I think about it. Anyway, um... Fuck, I... Now I forgot what I was going to say. You have arrived at your destination. Eh, hey, it'll come back to me. So anyway, um... This one's really not super hard to find as long as you're not, like... Running around like a maniac. Glad I got on that rock for the high vantage point. Um, this isn't... I don't think that's what I was talking about earlier, but... One of the nice things that I didn't realize again until it was a little... Later on in the game is even... Doing stuff like this, just side-op missions... It still can raise your buddy's uh, bond level with you. I thought it was only story missions because... When you beat the story missions, it actually gives you that results screen at the end. It tells you, you know, how many reflex mode kills you got, match shots, stuff like that. And it'll say, um, you know, the bond level. But since it didn't say that in side off missions, it, I didn't think it did. It, it mattered. And I, I, it does matter, but to a much lesser degree. At least it seems that way to me. So yeah, that's, this is all this mission is, is finding the mines and staying behind their little vision cone daily. Extracting them and moving on. Just have to make sure when you come up to them that A, you're on the right half, the right side of where their lasers aren't. And uh, I found this out the hard way. If you have uh, D-Dog with you, if you're not careful, he will run on these and blow himself up and his bond level will go down. And obviously that's not a good thing. Extraction arrived at Marker placed. So with that out of the way, we'll try to get this other side up done too. Actually, while doing this, let's um, Please select a deployment point. put her up there, and maybe she'll find the guy for us. Make this a lot easier on us. Actually, development while I'm thinking about it, I want to see if I can, or how close I am to developing some sort of uh, sleep grenade. Okay, so I can't get deep, deep decoys, that's good. That'll come in handy if we're doing the, um... What you call it? The extract vehicles missions? What do you want to call them? Alright, sun grenades are, grenades are way off still. Uh, not actually that far off. I could probably move dudes off of other 
teams to R and D and get that done. Right. Development complete. Which I think I might do. Oops. Um, so we'll take a look at the combat unit and see who we have that can be moved to R and D. That dude will be really good. All these guys have X's next to their names for some reason, so I can't move them. Uh, so let's move these three guys, and maybe that'll be enough. Select unit. Staff assigned. All right. So now that I've done that, I can go back here. Please specify development project has been added. Go back through here. And then, I don't know, one thing I'm still not sure of is if I can move those guys back to the teams they were on before uh, right now, or if I have to wait until the development's complete. I would imagine you can do it now, but to play it safe, we will wait. Not that it was a big ordeal to move those guys over, but it's just something I'd rather not do again if I don't have to. Actually, um, I'm gonna ask for D-Dog. Select a drop point. Dispatch requested. I like quiet and all, but D-Dog will help me out in this mission a lot more than she will. Buddy, departing area of operations. Thought I saw movement out of the distance, but I guess not. Another thing I didn't really mess around with much is uh, the capture cages, which I think I can. Please I might be able to develop them already. Let's just look real quick. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they'll capture small animals. Um, I don't know if you can just leave them anywhere, and they'll um, grab stuff for you, or grab animals for you, or if you have to do like, a certain like miniature area. I know, at least, that, um... God damn it, now I lost my train of thought again. Oh, I know that at least, um... Certain areas of the maps will give you different... Animals, but I don't know how big, like, the area you have to look for them in is. Okay, so... Around here somewhere... I could just kind of run around here until d doc finds him. Kind of like that. Um, I don't know if you can trank those dudes in the head and knock them out. I would, because I don't see why they would be different than other people, but... I've tried shooting dudes in the head before and it didn't really work like I wanted it to, so... I don't know if it just takes longer for these guys to... Feel the effects or what, but another thing is these guys. Like even if I am sneaking up on them, they'll still kind of they'll still kind of carry you. But it's okay. Once you knock them down once, you can just kind of sit next to them, and then when they get up, you seek to see them again until they're out. And there we go. There's some dudes later on that will throw actual, like, explosive grenades at you, and those guys are a pain in the ass. Because it seems like, a lot of times, even if you're, like, 30 feet away from the explosion, it'll still somehow manage to hit you. I don't really understand that. I'm gonna see if I can't capture some birds. Got one. Got the other. I didn't really try capturing birds too often before because it seemed like the ones I did find were like up on high 
ledges where I couldn't get to them, so it seemed kind of pointless. And, uh, no, I was gonna say while we're here, we'll extract some dudes, but I don't think that's gonna work at this place. Marker placed. Um, yeah, I think I'm done. We'll go back to the ACC and we'll call this video. Arrived at Month of Psydops list updated. Clouds approaching.